Hi guys, it's Andre from Convey Randomness here and today I'll be showing you how to install and protect your iPhone screen with this Armorite Tempered Glass Screen Protector from ESR, who I'd like to thank for providing this for me to review and also for giving viewers of this video a discount code on all ESR iPhone 13 series products, which I'll give to you later on in the video. Now let's get over to the unboxing and installation. This is my iPhone 13 Pro that I'll be putting the ESR Armorite Tempered Glass Screen Protector on. Described on the box as the ultimate screen protector, with this installed you'll be able to withstand 110 pounds or 50 kilograms of force applied to the screen. And with the screen coating, this should minimize fingerprints and scratches to your phone's surface. If you've got a case on your phone, you'll need to take it off first so the frame can fit around the phone. In this nicely presented box you will get the easy installation frame that allows you to align the screen protector onto your phone, two screen protectors, a rubber mat which provides a non-slip surface for installation, the installation instructions, two microfiber cloths, two dust removal stickers and two wet wipes. Start by placing a rubber mat on your preparation surface and then put your phone on top of that. Take the wet wipe and clean the phone surface thoroughly, getting rid of any dirty marks from the surface. With the microfiber cloth, clean the surface of the phone, ensuring that the screen is probably in its cleanest state that it's been in for ages. With the dust removal stickers, remove any dust that may have landed on the screen in between the cleaning procedures. If you don't remove any dust particles at this point, then it may leave bubbles on the surface when you put the screen protector down. Put the frame over the phone and press firmly in place. Unpeel the screen protector from its backing, being careful not to touch the newly exposed surface. The fingerprints you can see on there are from the top surface, which can be cleaned later on. It's easy to spot the top of the screen protector, as there is a groove to accommodate the iPhone speaker at the top. Make any final checks for dust and then place the top edge of the screen protector inside the frame, at the top of the phone and lower into place. Glide your fingers down the screen, applying even pressure to the screen protector. As you can see, the sensitivity display of the phone is unaffected by this addition. With the microfiber cloth, wipe across the screen to remove any bubbles on the screen, pushing them out to the side. I've still got a few bubbles on the screen, which I'll push out afterwards. Job well done. In certain orientations, it doesn't even look like there is anything on the screen. There is adequate room provided by the screen protector for the iPhone's on-screen speaker, and even placement of the screen protector on the phone surface provided by that frame means that you can get that smooth and clean look. Just remember that when you are using a screen protector with cases, the surface, which is now the screen protector, will now be closer to those case edges. Now that's all done, your iPhone screen should be fully protected against scratches, smudges, and most importantly, direct forces to the screen up to that 110 pound threshold, while maintaining and not affecting the delicate balance of what this screen and the technologies within the screen can do, like Face ID, touch responsiveness, and display properties. I'd like to thank ESR for providing this screen protector for me to review. It's much appreciated and there, is the discount for you to enjoy if you're looking to get yourself some accessories to protect and customize your iPhone. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all for me today. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.